Shai Shalom Akim, Shalom Yasharallah. First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. And I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. Uh, this is the brother Izar out here in uh, Midland, Texas. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to get into into this topic which is basically doing the work you know that's that should be it man that that should be you should look at somebody and know if you know the most high is dealing with them or not all right just because a a, a brother might not be going through the same things that you are that that doesn't mean you know anything all right, but a righteous man is striving for righteousness. All right, a righteous man is striving for righteousness, man. All right, so if you don't see that man striving for righteousness or to better himself, or if you don't see that that man has put away, you know, certain things that you know he did in his past, all right, then that's how you know that that man is, is not is not working uh, his repentance. You know, which is also working his sentence. All right, because we're not perfect, man. You know, but the righteous are are, are gonna be um, excused. You know, it's like, for instance, I'm gonna give you this um, example. All right, my son. She's not my literal son. All right, but but my stepson, you know, which he's very uh, what's that word? He's a Jake, but he's very um, zealous, you know, for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh He knows the names. All right, he won't tell anybody else the names, but whenever I ask him the names, he tells me the names, you know, and and he believes it to be true. All right. And he's young, you know, he's barely seven, which is, you know, the number of completion. But, you know, getting back to the point, he's a really good kid. All right. He does good in school. He abides by the rules, rules given to him, you know. So. All right. He, he say he, he has one bad day, you know, say he, he has one bad day in, in school or whatever. Yes, there's still going to be a punishment, you know, say, say I tell him to do something and he doesn't want to do it. He tries to rebel. All right. There is going to be a punishment. But yet, you know, certain things I'm going to wink at because I know that he's a good kid and I know that he's trying his hardest to the best of his ability. All right. In the same like manner, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai is looking at his men. Even though they're not completely perfect, they're, they don't walk as perfect as Yahweh Shai did, but they're striving to be that, that perfect people, man. And, and really, what is perfection? All right, perfection is, is, is their faith. All right, being faithful. Let patience work her perfect works. All right, that word patience goes back to faithful. All right, so being faithful is really trying, uh, trying you to be perfect. You know? So Yahabashim Yahweh Shai sees everybody and he only is going to pick out a certain few. You know? And those certain few are the ones that are going to do the work. All right? Because ultimately that, that's what it is, man. Do the work. All right? Abraham was justified by works. Noah was justified by works. Yahweh Shai, all right? Who, who people should strive uh, to be like. All right? who the elect are striving to be like was justified by his works all right he wasn't justified because oh you know he he, he said he's the son of the uh, of the most high so there you go that's it right there no all right he showed forth works and the servant is not greater than who the master all right so so we're gonna have to show works too man the apostles the apostles had to show work all right 
the apostles weren't slouching around like, yeah, he gave it to us. He said, we're the apostles, so we're good. No, man, you have to get your ass off your, your bed, off your, off your couch, all right? Have a repenting heart and repent, all right? That word repent means uh, to change, change one's mind. So if you repent of, of hurting the, uh, the temple of the Most High, which is the body of, an, of a, a righteous Israelite man, all right if you repent from smoking then guess what you're not gonna smoke anymore all right if you repent from being a being an, an adulterous man then guess what you're not gonna be an adulterous man anymore you know you're gonna you're gonna try and fight it uh you know uh, uh you're gonna try and fight that that uh demonic spirit man you know so repenting doesn't mean saying sorry, man. Because Esau Edom said sorry many times. All right? Esau Edom said sorry many times for, for the wickedness that he's done. Does that mean that he repented? No. Though he sought it carefully with tears. You know? And even up to today. All right? So repentance comes from change, man. All right? Actions speak louder than words. When you say you love a brother, all right? That doesn't mean you're you're up his ass all the time. Alright, but when that brother's in need, guess who's right there? You. Alright, you should be the number one person. Alright, stepping up when you find out, man. Alright, whatever reason or, or whatever that brother may need. You know? So actions speak louder than words. Alright? A woman, if you tell a woman you're gonna give her the world. Yeah, you might get her for, for a minute. But then when she sees you don't get her the world, what is she going to do? She's going to leave your ass. All right, she's going to go to the next. You know? So actions speak louder than words, man. All right, so this is Matthew 21 and 28. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons. And he came to the first and said, Son, go today in my vineyard. All right? Now these two sons, all right, can be symbolic for many things. It can be used multifold, all right. And the way that I'm going to use it is Esau and Jacob. Also, Jacob and Jacob, all right. You have the 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 uh, the rulership mentality Israelites, all right, which are the the righteous, you know, which you will mostly find at Great Millstone, you know. Granted, there are many. Uh, scattered abroad you know there there's some that are possibly in other camps but anyways um and then you have the wicked two-third israelites all right and most of them and some of them knowing that they're israelites you know so reading back verse 28 it says but what think ye a certain man had two sons and he came to the first and said gun son go work today in my vineyard all right so when uh jacob and esau all right esau was uh the firstborn all right so that's who who isaac wanted to be part of the inheritance all right, that's who isaac thought was going to be uh, uh the inheritor all right so he looked at esau a certain way and he looked at jacob a certain way you know and it said, and he answered and said, I will not. And Esau was a rebellious child, man. Esau was rebellious. All right. But Jacob seemingly wasn't even included. You know, he was just, he would just stay at, at, at home. He was a homebody, you know. It says, but afterward he repented and went. And that's what we should do, man. All right. That's what we should do. At first after we were conquered by esau edom all right we converted to his ways his way of philosophy his way of thinking all right after we converted to his ways you know we were kind of like no nah, we're not we don't have to do any of that stuff man we don't have to go do works you know but once you hear this ministry once you hear this truth your mind should completely change man your mind should your, your mindset should be you know, I wanna I wanna pursue after Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. 
all right that should be your mindset all right repenting you know it the brother uh Yabataza, all right he he mentioned to me you know he was like you, you know the way that people are going to come in are going to be similar to the ways that you came in all right and when i came in i wasn't you know i wasn't like all right well i'm gonna give it some time you know i'm just gonna chill back and keep doing what i'm hell no man that that same moment that i found out that i was an israelite and that brother didn't even give me a, a, a you know a deep 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 um you know uh breakdown of the scripture of who where i'm from or this and that because we met at the workplace and we know we're not supposed to speak too much in the workplace man you know study to to be quiet all right but when that brother kind of you know through the spirit told me certain things yo man that was that was it my spirit clicked you know my spirit was like yep i know it i know it i i, I feel it i'm an i am a jake man I, I am an israelite i feel that you know deep down all right it, it just clicked man and i stopped smoking i stopped uh eating bacon you know i stopped celebrating uh uh birthdays which you know my birthday wasn't too long after i found out i was an israelite you know so i stopped celebrating birthdays stopped celebrating the kids birthdays you know i stopped all that shit man you know and, and it shouldn't take you too long for you to be like you know what that is true you know and certain things i didn't know you know i'm not saying i was an expert as soon as i came into the truth certain things i didn't know like birthdays you know but i would do my research and i would look through scriptures and you know i would i would use the blue letter and what i found out was that in um um genesis the pharaohs they celebrated birthdays man you know the pharaohs celebrated uh birthdays and then when we came out of egypt Yahweh, the Most High, told us not to go after the ways of the Egyptians. So guess what? You shouldn't celebrate birthdays, man. So that's one simple breakdown that as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, that's it right there. That's that thing, man. And Jeremiah 10 tells you not to go after the way of the heathen. You know? And Jeremiah 10 breaks it down about Christmas. So that's another one. All right? And all these things, man, they all just started kind of just clicking in my head like, yep that's it yep that's it you know and the the thing about esau edom took a little bit longer because that that's a little bit you know more uh what's that word you know a little bit more it takes a little bit more spiritual power man to to really know that esau edom is uh the self-proclaimed white man you know but once you see the breakdowns, you're like, yep, that has to be it. That's it right there. Who else lived by the sword? All right. Who else had a perpetual hate for uh, uh, Jacob? All right. Who can we see it happen to right now? You know, who is Jacob? All these things, man, they, they just fall into place. You know, so a certain time we were in the world. All right. At a certain time in our lifetimes, we were in the world and we weren't doing the work of the most time, man. You know? But afterward, we repented, all right? Afterward, we repented and we went and did the work. So let's look up that word repent, all right? Verse 29. So Matthew 21 and 29, the word repent. Repented. All right, let's look that up. Salaki, I'm driving. It says, uh... This is a different uh, repent, all right? But it means uh, it is a care to one afterwards. It repents one to repent oneself, all right? And uh, it's from this word up here. With, after, behind. All right, that's not it. Let's go back. Um, let's see this one to care about all right you have to have care for what for oneself man you know you know at these jobs at these job places they say that um you know who's the first person you should take care of care of you know before you try and take care of someone else 
And it's actually true, man. You know, I, I hate it when they say it. You know, I hate it when they say it because they're nothing but a bunch of bullshit ass people, wicked ass people, but it's a true saying, you know? So yeah, I was shy. You know, when he talk, talked about the Pharisees and the scribes, he wasn't like, yo, you know what? Fuck these Pharisees and scribes, man. Don't listen to a damn thing they say. No, you know? Yes, you do have to follow the last touch in the commandments, but Yahweh Shai called them hypocrites, man, for a reason, all right? And that reason was that what they were saying was true, but what they were, their actions weren't doing what the true sayings were, you know? So these people at these workplaces, when they say you have to take care of oneself first and then take care of somebody else, you know, that that's all true, man. That's why you have to work your own salvation through fear and trembling, you know? You have to get yourself right. 